After installing the WAVE Deploy on the Site Assessment and Survey laptop, copy the WAVEAGENT.EXE file into the off-the-shelf server located on the wired side of the network. The WAVEAGENT.EXE file can be located in this directory, which is automatically installed when you install WAVE Deploy. Once you have copied the WAVEAGENT.EXE file to the off-the-shelf server, Double-click on that file. If this error message appears on your screen, your computer is missing the .NET framework and you will need to install it. Copy the agent's installer, which includes a .NET framework from your mobile laptop to your fixed computer. The agent's installer can be found in this directory. On the fixed computer, run the agent's installer. Once installed, you will be able to start the Wave Agent by double-clicking the waveagent.exe file or by clicking the Start button. Now return to the Site Assessment and Survey laptop and start the application from your desktop. Once the application is started, load the site map. and scale it to fit your screen. Next, set the scale and set the radius of influence. The radius of influence signifies the confidence you assign to every measurement and is clearly displayed on the screen. Now let's connect the agents. First, on your site assessment laptop. You can assign a nickname and its address is simply the local host. Next, connect the agent on the off-the-shelf server. You will have to specify the host name or IP address for that server. With both Wave Agents active, we are now ready to start the site survey. Simply click the green button. As you conduct the site survey, a circle shows up while measurements are being taken. It takes about 15 to 20 seconds to complete a measurement at every location. Complete the site survey for all locations. Now let's look at the results. For the test we just conducted, we see a floor map overlaid with the aggregate quality of the network measured. Measurements are broken down by application or service, as well as by RF or RSSI measurements. First, let's look at the RSSI measurements. In this case, we have four channels available, 1, 44, 6, and 36. A legend is provided at the bottom of the site survey map. By hovering the mouse over every area measured, we can see the measurement taken. In this example, the signal strength is minus 67 dBm. Here we can see that this particular channel 1 had a 30 dBm co-channel interference. Now let's look at the application layer measurements. Here is the data good put measured. If we hover the mouse over any particular location, we can see that the data good put in this location was 2.537 megabits per second. We can look at voice MOS scores represented as numbers between 1 and 5 and at video MDI represented by its delay factor and media loss rate. Clicking the Generate Report button will create a report that summarizes the compliance table as well as the individual heat waves generated. The report includes information about where the site assessment was conducted and by whom and at what time. 
It includes three main segments, the compliance summary, client report, and the network report. In the compliance summary, we can see the quality of experience measured by every client that participated in this site survey. First, the laptop that ran the Wave Deploy application, Laptop 1. We can see the good put that was measured, the voice quality, and the video quality as compared to preset service level agreements. Next, we see other mobile devices that were used during the site survey and how they experience the network, for example, an iPhone. Individual measurements are then again presented in the report. For example, the client observes signal coverage measured in DBM, the client observed application coverage measured as megabits per second in data throughput. The client observed voice quality as measured in MOS score. The client roaming time with minimum average and maximum roaming times and the number of roams observed, as well as co-channel interference. For more information or any questions about Wave Deploy, you can contact us at support at verawave.com or by phone at 503-473-8350.